uh, I can take another angle of the discussion about, okay, we are talking about using these kind of social networks, but also we have to put in mind the abusing of it. Well, exactly. Yeah. Th so this I, is, this I, is I don't know if you allow me to give of course, a very of uh, small example on myself, what okay. happened to me 16 months ago. Okay, on my page, you know, I am uh, a poet, so I wrote something about women and love. And there is a religious one, and he was on my list, and he asked me to remove this because it's against the religion. Any poet, he doesn't write according to, you know, what we call on TVs when you dedicate songs, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, it's not like a song's dedication, so I write upon what people desire to hear. So I refused. I even ignored him. So what he has done, he, uh, I mean, print screened the, my page on Facebook, and he fabricated a rumor against me, the Al Arabiya TV presenter, the Palestinian one, he said also, Muhammad Abu Abid, uh, put his nude pictures on Facebook and called for a new religion, <laughs> and he is famous for being against Saudis. Well, the guy, must nice. three, yes. the guy must be a Very stalker nice. who is like terrible. See, really see the three, the three <laughs> titles, they have no links to each other. Okay, if I call for a new religion, like the Freemasons why, and the why shall I be oh, there naked? You go. <laughs> if, I am, if I put my uh, nude pictures, why to call for a new religion? And if I work in a Saudi channel, how I would be against Saudis? Does that mean my bosses, I have three Saudi bosses, do not know that I am against Saudis? And when you say you are famous for being against Saudis, it means I either wrote a book or articles, or at least I appear on TVs and have my own discussions against Saudis. So why I gave, I mean, came up with this example to tell you that unfortunately, and I always criticize Arab mentality in this, that they are easily believe rumors, easily. I mean, maybe from 100, every 100 Arabs, you find one who will not believe and he says, no, we have to verify. Okay, so in one day, in two days, two days, I found this piece of news against me in two days in 250 forums. So what do you do? Do you sue the guy? See, no, I did not, no. I did not do anything. The only thing I Ignore. did, you know, there's no such a thing as bad publicity. <laughs> okay, so I benefited from it, actually, and many people who used to watch me on TV, they said, we did not know that you are a poet. Mm. The funny thing, the funny thing, you know, you I every night, I every night, you know, I just go, uh, go through my friend request and I accept, I ignore, whoever, okay? And I slept at 2 30, I sleep four hours every day. I woke up in the morning, I found 70 friend requests from Saudi. I said, my God, what, what's happening? Maybe <laughs> somebody is suggesting my name. Okay. And then I started the show, Sabah al Arabi. During the show, I Facebook also. And then 250. And then in, in the afternoon, 1,000 friend requests. So what's going on? So you're not so telling us that, that, that this time you decided to show up naked on, uh, on the show? No, see, the funny, the funny part, the funny part, the funny part, when I, I said I will accept some. So I accepted one of them was Saudi girl. She said, thank you very much for accepting my request. I'm a big fan of you, but I'm looking for nude pictures. I did not find them. <laughs> And I don't know what's happening so far. I don't know because I don't know. I said, what do you mean? No, I, I am not, I'm, I'm, I'm not a porn star. I'm a TV presenter. She said, you don't know what's happening? I said, no, I don't know. She said, the forums are uh, talking about you. I will send you a link. She sent me a link. Okay, they stole one picture of me in a swimming pool and he put it and he put some tattoo on me, which is really, I, I will do it for real because it's fine with, with the Photoshop. I, I like it. Yeah. And so people, they, they believe. So that Palestinian guy who hates Saudis and why they leave him on Al Arab, you know? So that, uh, this is what I mean, why I came up with this example, which is, I mean, it happened but with he, me. It becomes more coherent. 16, uh. 16 months ago, they still talk about it. Nobody verifies. I had oh, a similar incident, actually. <laughs> uh, the beginning of uh, this fantastic revolution. It was um, actually after I got arrested and beat up. And I actually like went on CNN and announced my real name and face and all of this. And uh, then came out, uh, apparently there were, there were articles talking about uh, how I was gay, mm -hmm. you know, in uh, actual publications. 
And I immediately, I got the link. I was just like, guys, just for verification, nothing wrong with it or anything, but I'm not gay. Just please contact those people. And like hundreds of people immediately went and sent emails and like tweeted at them. And, and the thing is, it wasn't malicious. I thought it was like an attempt to, and as an attack, whatever. But in the CNN, they said that uh, the blogger known as Sand Monkey came out as Mahmoud Salem, and the journalist took the word came out and <laughs> mm. <laughs> created an entire article about like how in Egypt, even courageous gay bloggers are now joining the revolution. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, and mind you, this we managed to squash within 24 hours, and it became a joke, because immediately afterwards, they were talking about the WikiLeak, about the Egyptian uh, activist who the Americans met with, who like destabilized Egypt. And you know, some of these people are saying Sun Monkey is the person who destabilized Egypt. And y the only thing you can do with this is you have to laugh at it. You're like, all right, fine. So apparently, I am the gay Zionist American agent who single-handedly destabilized Egypt. <laughs> you know, I, I, I need a costume or a cape or something well, at this point.